It's Margarita, and we are taking it to Maison de Oreo. know my French pronunciation is not that great but for those of y'all who don't speak French <laughs> very well like me you can also say Maison d'Orient if you want to pronounce it that way but I like to say it the French way Maison d'Orient <laughs> but anywho I had the extreme pleasure of visiting this store while I was in Las Vegas and let me tell you the experience was just unmatched the staff there was absolutely amazing. And one of the best things about it was that they actually knew what they were talking about in regard to fragrances. I cannot tell you how many times I have been so sadly disappointed by sales associates who knew nothing about fragrances. And I'm like, I really wish that stores and brands would educate their salespeople so that they can properly help clients. Anywho, I did not have this problem at Maison Dory. Now, I had the pleasure of trying something that actually worked for me. Yes. So if you watch this channel, I have said in several videos that I have difficulty keeping fragrances lasting on me. My skin does not hold fragrance very well, but they have a solution. In this little bag, I have three wonderful things, and these are their fragrance boosters. Now they have three. There's one that's neutral, which is designed to actually enhance the existing scent that you put on. So these are designed for layering. So if you don't want too much of an olfactory interference, I would say use the neutral booster or you can use the musk booster, which really, really gets those warm musky tones amplified. Or if you want something spicier or woodier or even something that makes it darker or more masculine, you can go for the oud booster. Now, I tried all three of these over the past couple of days because I wanted to give you all a full and fair review. And the fragrance that I layered it with was their own Luna. This is my bottle of Luna. And this is by their house brand. It's a brand new brand. That's a lot of brand. I use the word brand a lot, don't I? <laughs> Perlanera. So in case you didn't notice, I'm wearing black pearls to commemorate this introduction of Perlanera. And this is Luna. And this is a lovely fruity floral. And I was just blown away when I tried this in store that I had to take it home with me. So I tried this layered with, my lap's getting a little full here, with these. And here's how each one performed. So the first one I tried was the Oud Booster. Now this one, I tried this and actually all three of them I tried the same way. I tried them to wear throughout the day and also during a workout um, because I am a fitness coach I like to see what lasts during a workout because a lot of things don't. This Oud booster turned so sexy. It doesn't even smell like Oud per se. Y'all know I don't like Oud. This is just really woody. So I think that, you know, don't be afraid of this one. This one gave it a nice sweet woodiness. So I already had the fruity floral scent from the Luna. And that coupled with this Oud woodiness made it slightly more masculine. So gentlemen. If you have a fragrance that you feel leans too feminine for you, try Maison d'Orient's Oud Booster and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. The second one I tried was the Musk Booster and oh my goodness, I like this. And um, Musk is typically something that is used for skin scents and natural scents and this actually did turn Luna into more of a skin scent somehow. So it lasted, but it didn't project as loudly. So if you want to tone down a fragrance or make it more demure or even better for bedtime, I would say try the Musk Booster. And last but definitely not least, the Neutral Booster. This one was my favorite when I paired it with Luna. Why? Because this one made it a projection monster. It made the scent even more than what it was. Like it just projected, it lasted, and I can smell it so prominently even after a sweaty workout. Like this neutral booster, if you have problems like I do with fragrances lasting on you beyond a couple of hours, get the neutral booster. 
Now you can get all three of these on their website as I said, or you can try them individually. It's very inexpensive. And I will put a link to their site and to this item in particular in the description of this video. But you all, this right here was wonderful on its own, but baby, when I layered it with these, oh, I don't have enough hands, need a third hand. <laughs> when I layered it with these, it just took on three new dimensions. So if you have a fragrance that you just don't quite care for too much or that you're kind of bored with, try adding one of their boosters and I assure you, you will be so happy you did. It will breathe new life into your fragrances. Please, please, please do not be afraid to try new things, especially high quality items. And these are at a wonderful price. If you've tried anything from the house of Maison d'Orient, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what some of your favorites are. And if you've tried any of these boosters, let me know how they performed on you. I love to talk about these things in the comments and also help provide insight to other people who may be new to fragrance or may just need some good recommendations to breathe life into their existing collection. The thing is, you don't need a big collection to have a wonderful and adequate collection. You can do little things like add a booster to really amplify or even change the dimension of your fragrance. Also, if you're ready to take yourself from acceptable to exceptional and unleash that inner superstar within you, visit my website, completepackagecoaching.com and let me know how I can be of assistance to you. And until next time, I am Margarita and you have an awesome day. Bye.